What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nate and I own a custom integration company, meaning I help people implement technology into their homes and businesses. I haven't put out a video in a while. We've been on a ton of job sites that haven't allowed us to film, but we do have a job right now that we've been on for the past two weeks, installing a ton of different products in the Ubiquiti suite. Everything from the full network in the home, um, to we did a nano beam system between the main home and a separate outbuilding. Uh, we've have, I think it's 26 total cameras throughout the entire property, some interior, some exterior. We've pulled 7,000 feet of cable between Cat 6A and speaker wire throughout the house. This is a retrofit, so it's not a new construction. So typically it's pretty cost prohibitive for people to go and put that big of a hardwired network system into a retrofit house because of how difficult it can be with the drywall. Uh, but we were able to make it work and uh, with minimal damage to existing drywall and the client's very happy with what we had. But one of the big issues that we ran into is this house is built in the 90s here in New England and the soffits on the exterior of the house, specifically on the boat house, um, has this really big pavilion with these super aggressive soffits, which meant when we were mounting our cameras, we were running into an issue where we couldn't get enough of the ball joint on the soffited edge to get the field of view that we were looking for. Now, Ubiquity does sell a extension piece that replaces this that basically has a big angle on it and allows you to mount on an angled soffit and still get the field of view that you need. It's a great product. We've used it in the past. Um, it solves a lot of problems for us, but with this house, there was two issues with that specific piece that just didn't work for our application. Um, theirs is very nice. It's all, it's the same material. It's all metal. It's great. Um, I really like it, but the angle that we had was still more aggressive than that what that could cover for us. And I've got 10 cameras that I need to do this, this aggressive angle on. Everything else in the property uh, was pretty straightforward, exterior flat mounted services, things like that, no problem. Um, but with the price point of the angled piece and it not matching the angle that we needed, it seemed we had to come up with a different solution for it um, to resolve this kind of issue for our clients. So we went back and forth and we thought about it. And fortunately for us, Pat, who is our lead installer, uh, is very talented at design and 3D printing. So he was able to go and take the measurements specifically on the property of what we had the issue with, get find out what that angle was, and design and print our own adapter for those cameras. Now, it's it's essentially identical. The only difference um, is that this is obviously not attached to it. This is just a plastic adapter with the specific angle that we needed. Um, and we made like some slight modifications that worked for our application. One of those being we countersunk the holes on the back side so that we could run three inch deck screws through it, um, allowing us to attach to the blocking in that soffit. But the nice thing with it is, so we install a lot of G5 Pros, G4 Pros. Um, this entire property, primarily it was the G5 Pro on the exterior, but I wanted to make sure that we made something that would work we only had to design it once so it would work with everything. And fortunately, Ubiquity does use the same uh, thread pattern and the same size for almost, I believe it's almost any of their bullet cameras. Uh, but I did test it with what we had in the shop here. So I have an AI Pro, I have a G5 Pro, and I have a G4 Pro, and all of these do fit it perfectly, which is great. So all we did is I, I took a little scrap chunk of two by four here to envision the soffit. But if the soffit is down like this, all we did was allow us to match that specific angle that we have. We were able to run our deck screws through this into pretend this is the blocking inside of the soffit. And then what we can do 
is take the existing hardware that comes with the all the Ubiquiti Bullet cameras. Uh, it comes typically they come with two wood screws and two machine screws, and then we created mounting holes right inside the plastic and added extra infill in that area to support the screw. It is plastic, so they will self-tap themselves um, regardless of the screw that you're using. Um, I would advise using the one that comes with Ubiquity because it is already countersunk into the mount. But this now allows us to clear that field of view we need when the camera is maxed out on the ball joint. Um, giving us the height that we were looking for as well as the field of view we were going for. So we didn't reinvent the wheel by any stretch. Uh, like I said, Ubiquity already makes this basically identical product. But for us at scale, it just didn't make sense for the project considering it, it wasn't the perfect angle for what we needed, as well as it was just an additional cost that just didn't make sense for us to do because of how many we had. So by printing this, A, it allowed us to solve a problem really quickly for our client. Uh, it kept the project on schedule and in, in our world, that's everything. Keeping our projects on schedule keeps us on schedule in general and allows us to book our next clients more consistently and keeps everything in check. Again, nothing crazy, but this was a really um, a really cool thing that our, our guys were able to come up with. I wanted to share it with everyone. Um, this this product isn't anything special, but it does. Maybe you're into 3D printing and you have a similar issue where your soffits have an aggressive angle. Um, we now have the, S the file for this. We can adjust the angle to anything that we need going forward and we can use it on multiple different camera types, which is a huge benefit for us. Um, we primarily install the G5 Pro, but we do get um, alternatives where maybe they want some of the features that the AI Pro comes with, or maybe they're cost saving and they want to go with a different camera. Having it be a pretty standard size allows us that flexibility. Um, and now we're able to just print off 15 or 20 of these and keep them in our work van so that next time if something like this happens, we don't have to skip a beat. We can just go and install it, get it done, get it the way it's supposed to be, the correct field of view and angle for that client and for their house. Um, so again, not trying to take anything away from what Ubiquity made. Um, their product is great. It just didn't work for our specific application, mostly on the quantity side. Um, if this type of thing is something you're interested in, leave it in the comments and I'll kind of show you. We've, we've 3D printed a lot of little tools and tricks that, that help us and save us all the time in the field. Um, whereas someone who may be watching this and you're doing Ubiquity at your own house and you don't do it all the time and you turn to YouTube and you look for a tutorial on how to do something or maybe this is a, a a piece that'll help you accomplish the goals that you have for your house. Um, or maybe you're just a hobbyist and you like to 3D print things and you like to be involved in the products as we do. Um, this could be a, a good time saver for you. Um, we kind of live in that world of labor saving devices. So this I would chalk up as a labor saving device. Um, but we do 3D print all, store for all different sorts of things like cable combs, for example. Um, we break them frequently, they, they drop, they get messed up, uh, maybe a tooth snaps off of it or something like that. So we're able to print those easily for ourselves to have them. Um, we've had to do custom backer plates for the G4 Pro doorbell, for example, where a client may have like an old intercom system that's significantly bigger than the uh, outline of a G4 Pro. So we've printed things to cover that and kind of match the, whether it's a stone facade or the siding or whatever it is, just to clean up the look a little bit because there might've been a huge hole behind that. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, drop it in the comments. Um, if you are purchasing any Ubiquity equipment, we do have an affiliate link in the comments. It does help our channel a ton when you do purchase it through our link. Um, 
I hope this was a helpful video. I hope you find these types of things useful for you. If you do, uh, we'd love to uh, hear about it. And then as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we'll catch you next week and I'll give you some more in-depth on some of the projects that we're working on.